And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Aphelios Heimer to kick off Heimer Dinger Spotlight Night. We It's Wednesday night, Wednesday night streams. We pick a random champion to highlight and try to build competitive decks for ranked around that champion and with different regions. And so our first one is going to be with Targon and with Aphelios as our other champion. Um, what Aphelios does here is Aphelios gives us our moon weapons. Each one of these moon weapons costs three mana, and they're all pretty powerful. Both of them costing three mana, uh, that that can help fuel Tri-Beam and Probulator. So we're going to put those two together. And then also, if we have Heimerdinger in play, the three mana turret is a good 3-1 fearsome. And that could just be an added bonus for us. You know, like we play a moon weapon, we get a free 3-1 fearsome along with whatever else it does and start fueling our uh, Tri-Beam and Probulator. So... Um, that looks pretty good. So uh, at four or three decks, we have that one. We're going to have Dra Dravenheimer, which is basically going to be like Draven Ezreal, but it's going to be with Heimer. Again, not that, that the Dravenheimer, not too original, but, um, you know, we're trying to put together competitive Heimerdinger list, and I think that one should be pretty decent. And then Spooky Heimer is going to also is going to be with Ezreal, and it's going to be with Shadow Isles because it's spooky, and it's going to be a lot of removal and card advantage with Shadow Isles. So that one uh, will be interesting to try out. Okay, so now um, for the two mana slot, like, you know, with the moon weapons, we have Crescendum that can summon a two drop. I, I was thinking about just only having just Ballistic Bot, so like we're always hitting Ballistic Bot. You can't run out of two drops though, right? Like if you draw like two Ballistic Bots and you like put another one into play, now now your other moon weapons can't do anything else. And I just feel like Blue Sentinel, so I'm, I'm putting Blue Sentinel also in here because I just feel like this card's really good and it's just good in this metagame. It's a great blocker. And that Crest of Insight, getting that extra mana, I think could be super important with a slower deck like this with Aphelios, Heimer. So just getting that boost of mana, I think could be really important. So we're going to have that in here. We'll have two Duskbringers that can make the Dust Petal Dust to help out Aphelios. Could also help out Lunari Priestess. That's also a, a good card to discard to like Rummage and Sump Treasure and things like that. And instead of going three Solari Priestess, I'm, I'm going to play one Lunari Priestess. I think Lunari Priestess is pretty good, but we'll see. Like While we play this, maybe it should just be a third Solari. But I kind of like um, you know, having some uh, some different options. Uh, Sunburst, great, great removal spell these days. It can kill an Asus, can kill a Thrash, can kill some stuff, um, can kill like Trundle. Uh, but then also, it's a six mana card, and six mana cards are very important for Heimerdinger because you get that Floor Be Gone, that 6-1 Elusive Turret. But let's go ahead and get to it. This is going to be our first deck of the day. We are two wins away from Master's Rank. So hopefully we can get those wins right away. So these are some pretty important games that we got to kick off our Heimer Spotlight Night. And looks like we got a Targon, Piltover, and Zon Mirror. Our opponent's going to be going Zoe and Vi. The more popular uh, champions to play in these regions. I'm going to get rid of Rummage, and I kind of want to keep the rest. The problem is, I guess I'll get rid of the Lunar. Like, Lunar Priestess is awesome. But the problem is, is if they have round one Zoe, kind of want something to deal with that round one Zoe. So I think I need to mulligan a little bit more aggressively, looking for something to deal with that now. We did not find anything to deal with that. I don't know if I blocked that or not. I kind of think not. Because I don't have Mystic Shot. Probably means they do have Mystic Shot. That would be my guess. I like Thermo. That can kill a Zoe. So that's crazy, JJ. You said that you're playing against the Spooky Heimer deck right now? That's crazy. All right, so good trade for us. I don't know, Wellington. That's a good question of just how many points at Masters is safe for the seasonal. That's something that changes every single seasonal, right? Because there's more, more or less people qualified for any specific season. So I, I don't know if there's any... I don't know what specific number is safe. And considering it's... You know, we're still like 10 days away from whenever that is closed out. It'd, it'd be really hard to tell right now. 
So I can get excited to kill this ballistic bot right now, but if I do that, then I don't have any then I only have two spell mana for Heimer next round, and I kind of want all three spell mana next round. I kinda of wanna go like Heimer with like get excited or thermo next round. And yes, they can kill the Heimer. But can't really stop that, but I got the backup Heimer. And it puts a lot of pressure on them too, right? Because yeah, if they don't have the removal to kill Heimer immediately, puts that pressure on them. See, I don't think they should be casting this ignition here, most likely. Like, it's... like the last two rounds, they've played two ignitions, and I'm at 17 now instead of 19. But they could have two spell mana instead, and I just think that the spell mana is more important. If the fangs block, so they want to block the turret, so I'm putting the turret first. Because if you go the other way around, they'll take the two, then block here, then they're back to 20. So you... You want to put the thing that they want to block when they have the life steal first, so they because they can't heal over twenty. They also chose not to block, and that makes sense too. Can you improve perfection? Try beam. Love a good try beam. I definitely like where we're at here in this game. Doesn't mean that we're necessarily going to win. I like where we're at. Alright, that's probably going to get hushed. Okay. I wanted to see if... Yeah, it's probably just going to get hushed. I wanted to see if they, were, they would play a Vi. They did not. Should be harder to keep this Zoe alive through a turret. I know they can Pale Cascade and keep this alive here, but that's okay. I'd much rather try to kill the... Oh, I guess that's true. I didn't think about with the Mystic Shot. I think it's right true. All right, well. That's a Mystic Shot that's not killing my Aphelios. Can't be mad at that. I want Calibrum to kill their Ballistic Bot. Yeah, I think we could have Pursuit of Perfection or um, Sub Percival in here. Yeah, both both true, both true. I want I didn't want to have too high of a curve though. I didn't want to really have too many of the uh, expensive cards like that. But yeah, those would both absolutely fit in here. And I guess I'm going with Gravitum. I don't think we really need Severum. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, I was just, I was just so far ahead. I just baited them into casting. No. Boom. Baited them into casting that Mystic Shot to save their Zoe so that they couldn't kill my Aphelios. Definitely knew what I was doing the whole time. All right, so Tribeam's at four. So I should have just attacked this thing first. Probably, before letting them know I had another Heimer. Yeah, I went with Aphelios to go with, to go for Tribeam. But yeah, you are right. It probably would have been better to go I mean, it's probably better with Zoe, right? Like, Zoe's just amazing. But I don't know, like, this Aphelia's putting in some work. Second moon weapon. I 
their immune weapon. Beam at six. Oh, wait, I can't even kill that thing. Like, what am I doing? I think still a one five. All right, well, that was that was a worthless hush. That was a that was a really bad hush by me. I should just be casting like Crescendum right there. <laughs> yep, opponent has Subburst, well, they smart. But I like where we're at here with Sunburst, Tribeam, and Thermo. <laughs> sure, it may be a little slow, but we got some removal. We got some removal. Alright, so this is gonna we're about to have moon weapon number four. And like I don't like so blue sentinel is a card that I don't want to draw right now, right? Like if I would draw blue sentinel, that'd be pretty bad. So like just getting blue sentinel out of the deck thins the deck to make it so like my draw steps are better. So that's good. And of course that's why I had to lead you know with the moon weapon so that we can make the other moon weapon. All right, let's kill... I guess I still try to kill the 5-1 or the 4-3. We're killing one of the elusives. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. I guess the 4-3. We should level up Aphelios. And now we will get moon weapons each round. This will also level up Heimer. I guess I gotta I guess I gotta cast this tri beam before it gets too big, but I don't have room. Hmm, a weird problem to have. It's a weird problem to have over here. Okay, so what I'm thinking right now is that I, I don't actually want to cast this Thermo for three right now, because then, you know, like this, this Tribeam's going to get too big. Like, it's at eight right now, it's going to get too big, where we don't even get a unit anymore. So therefore, I need to play this Ballistic Bot first, so that then, I didn't even realize I was one card away from getting a Graviton, I'm not going to lie. So then I can play this Thermo for one. To kill that, so now we're not increasing this. And also, I kind of forgot that these were going to be two and not three anymore, but that's okay. Eight and nine are good for tri beam. We don't really want 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, right? Like, we don't want any more than that. I also need to clear up a board spot, so I kind of need some things to die. So I'm going to block that, like, with a three one, I guess. Block those both with three ones. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that BTRS says the units weirdly get worse after eight mana, and they do, but nine, you can still get some really cool stuff at nine. Ten's pretty bad. And then after ten, you're just not, you can't even hit anything. I guess I don't need Crescendum because I don't have room, but I guess Crescendum would again just like take a blue sentinel out of the deck, which is maybe better than what Infernum does. No, you don't get to summon Watcher at 17. 
10 does have Scythria now, that's true. So now 10 has Scythria. How many bad 10s are there, though? There's like three bad 10s. How many total 10s are there? I could probably figure that out. Because there is Scythria now, that's true. Alright, so 10 has Arbor to the Peak, bad. Scythria, good. So 1 and 1. Plaza Guardian, bad. Scuttle Guys, bad. So those, those are three bad cards. And then She Who Wanders is the other one. So She Who Wanders is fine, I guess. A 10 10 regen. I guess that's fine. Scythria is definitely the best. But then you have like three bad ones along with that. Scythria is a summon effect. So yeah, it's so Scythria is great. Because yeah, it's a summon effect. Yeah, otherwise the Spectral Matron combo wouldn't work. I'm getting this out of my hand so that at the beginning of the next round we make another Moon Weapon. So they have five cards in hand. We know one is that star shaping thing they just hit. And of course we want to play everything for Ballistic Bond. Buff that thing up. So that's a bad draw. They gotta have something to stay alive. Lunari Dustbringer, definitely the worst possible card in our deck to draw. Leave or burn. That puts them to zero still, right? Yeah, that's, that's 19. But if they do and pass, I'll be happy. Go ahead, just pass. That sounds good. Looks good, opponent. Take 19. That is kind of weird. You know, like, that's actually kind of a downside, though, of, like, having these... Moon weapons cost one less. Yeah, you know, that's supposed to be upside, but for us, that's actually downside. <laughs> right? Now I don't. Now I don't have any like three mana cards anymore. All right, they have decided not to go to zero. They're going down to two though. Ignition can make it one. Now our um, Calibrum costs three again, so that's good. Two fearsome better than a three two tough. Like, tough seems useful against P and T. We'll keep the tough. <laughs> Yay, rummage. Rummage good. Get rid of this dustbringer. I guess I could rummage away the tri beam. Well, we gotta keep them honest. Gotta see if they have star shaping or guiding touch or anything like that. Okay. That would have been the better card to rummage away than tri beam. But Heimer still helps us out, right? Because Heimer makes the turret. So I guess I guess it's just better to rummage away the turret. Gotta keep them honest though. Gotta make them spend that five mana. Now they can't kill Heimer. Mm -hmm. 
None of these are that great. I guess the warrior. Like, do I want a moon glow? Eh. I'm just keeping the wrench bot here in case they challenge something with the Vi and kill something, then I'll have the wrench bot. I know it would buff up the ballistic bot if I had to play it first, but because of that Vi challenger. Another Heimer's a good draw. I think we got this. Not too scared about that. So, like, none of these... Like, I don't think any of those cards will matter. Because they're not really... Like, the Invoke cards aren't really Burst. Or Fast Spells. Like, none of them matter. So, they only have four other cards. One of them is an expensive Invoke card still. One of those four. So, there's only three other cards. So, they have a, another Star Shaping card still. Because, like, even if they could stay alive, why... Yeah, which they can't... Yeah, like... Yeah, they, if they could stay alive, they wouldn't play that living land, right? Because then, because then you have to like spend all your mana to stay alive, and then you just wasted a living land, right? That you would want to untap, and then like the next round play living legend. So once we see that living legends, we know the game's over. Want to know? I lost those. We get one of my most hated decks to play against as the final boss for us trying to get to master's rank. This is definitely what I don't want to see. A really in soul. We really don't have any good answers for Aurelian Soul. And then they have like the challengers for the Heimerdinger. This has got to be our worst matchup. Man, why do we have to get this one? Why do we have to get this matchup? I guess I have to mulligan Heimer. Oh, hate hate seeing that they only mulligan one card. I say I guess I have to mulligan Heimer from the opener. Just so weak to single combat, uh, Screeching Dragon, all that kind of stuff. I would like a, to draw a Tribeam of Probulator. Yeah, their hand's great. Yay, Tribeam. So if I go Flash of Brilliance, then Aphelios, I could then still play Moon Weapon, or I just wait, you know, or I can wait till after Heimer before I play Flash of Brilliance. No, I think I gotta do it now. Skies Descend, okay. That will be uh, kind of the opposite of a useful card. Screeching Dragon so good. Alright, so the Heimer still got me got me a spell. And then I'll be using. I'd still be shocked if we win this game. I like seeing that. Kind of. You know, like obviously I don't like that they have that big expensive celestial, but they that's a lot of mana to be using at this juncture of the game. Makes it difficult to kill this Heimer, but not impossible. But it does make it a little difficult to kill the Heimer now. Imminently logical. You wear red to honor the fall. That was what they needed to kill the Heimer is this plus single combat. Well, really hope they don't have that. That's tough for Heimer in this matchup with the single combats. 
and with the challengers. Makes life pretty tough. Okay, tribeam's at four. Now tribeam's at five. Blessing. If I block there, Tribeam will kill it. Or I get a Felios in play and keep going. Just don't really I guess I just don't have any kind of realistic plan against Aurelian Soul. It's not a bad card. Devotion through battle. Hello, Room Terra. Let's rock. It really is just unbeatable. So Written in Stars would find Heimer. It would make a 4 mana Heimer that's a 3-5. That could not be bad. I could also just take the stun two enemies. I like that too, though. So I'm taking the Gravitum because I like the, um, you know, so I'm going to lead with Gravitum and then be able to get two drop afterwards and then be able to get the deal three damage after that. Turns that Mystic Shot into doing 5 damage to them. Humanity is obsolete. They don't have judgment. Just take all this. Go down to four. They are. They're taking all of it. Going down to four. Okay. Okay. Shining gifts from the sky. He's life steal. Stop. I can hush that thing though. So I'd have to. So uh, the spell shield does like does block sunburst. You have to get rid of the spell shield first before you sunburst. Gonna test this out so I kinda have more information about Okay, awesome. No guiding touch. Alright, we actually got there. I just I never thought I was gonna be winning that matchup, but we did. I think that they Wow, Masters rank. Yeah. I think that they kinda played a little too slowly. They didn't pressure me enough. 
um, like with dragons and stuff, you know, like how they, you know, played that um, star shaping on round, I think it was like round six, I guess. I think they played star shaping. That was, yeah, it was round six. That was like the round that really helped me out, that they just did nothing, you know, because they had Screeching Dragon on five and then Eclipse on seven and Rillian Soul on eight, but they didn't do anything on six and that, that helped me out quite a bit. I'll have it on here. We got PNZ and Freljord. We're over in... Over in Masters rank now. All right, so this, it kind of seems like this would be like a Teemo Puff Cap deck, but it's, you know, it doesn't look like they're really a Puff Cap deck. At least they don't have Teemo. They could still have um, the three mana Puff Cap thing. Okay. We're in a Mulligan and Mulligan. Yeah, a lot of people say the, the second shot. Um,. Second vaccine shot messed him up pretty bad, and so um, I got I'm getting mine tomorrow after the stream. So we'll see we'll see for the weekend if I'm able to stream or not. I mean I don't have anything. I mean I guess I could just go flash. I guess it's just flash of brilliance, Aphelios. I, mean, I could also pass if they're passing. Is that good for me? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go flash, Aphelios. The brighter my light, the stronger your shadow. I assume that's gonna get Mystic Shot. Yeah, we run a Tri Beam. You got it. All three of our Heimerdinger decks today are we're playing Tri Beam. Tri Beam is a great card. We're playing it with all three decks. Wow, I love that. That is great. They just discard Hexcore Foundry. Oh, I love to see that. Because we're a bad deck against Hexcore Foundry. Because we're a deck that already has tons and tons of resources, right? We got lots of card advantage. And so the Hexcore Foundry kind of cancels cancels it out. Like, you know, like we can get too much card advantage and it gives them that card advantage to help them out. So I'm honestly, a, I'm very happy to see that. I'm gonna play this guy as a blocker. Cool. Give me that extra mana. Sure. Going great. Love it. Troll Chant's an amazing spell. I'll trade that little two drop for a Troll Chant any day. Um, what about you, Progress Day? I'm not sure. So I, I'm thinking about rummaging the ignition in the Progress Day way. Considering doing that, I, I think I may just keep it. I'm not going to spend mana on ignition, right? Like you, I'd rather just have spell mana. Mana is important. I'll just get you out here. So I was kind of doing this first because maybe we hit uh, Tribeam and Probulator for some treasure. It's our time. All right. All right, so they got Ezreal, Sejuani, and Vi. I feel like if I if I discard one of these thermogenic beams or sunbursts, that I will regret it shortly thereafter. Because my opponent will play like a Vi or something like that that I'll regret not having it for. Oh man, that's not a good play opponent. Opponent, we're, we're in Master's rank, you know. That's why Sunburst is so good. You just get extra equity when people don't understand the card because not very many people play it. <laughs> yeah, I cannot say that's the first time I've seen that. Um, I kind of want to play this Heimer. I don't want to play that Heimer. Not and ready. Safety disengaged. No, I just played my Sump Dredgers. Now we found Tribeam. Oh, I love that card. 
Great card opponent. I was really thinking about star shaping that. <laughs> That's just probably just kind of silly though to, to star shaping that card. But I was thinking about it. Oh no! That's the card. I, that's the one card that I was scared of in the entire deck. Oh no! Oh no! 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 That's the only card that can beat us, right? Like we have, we have so much card advantage already. You know, like they have, like we're not losing anything else. But this can just make it where I have too many cards now. It's maybe a little much. Yeah, that's true. My Ballistic Bot being dead now is actually kind of good for me for hand space purposes. Yeah, I know. I, I love playing Aftershock, and I and whenever I was putting the deck together, I did decide not to play Aftershock, and now I am regretting that just a little bit. Where are you at? You're at 11 out of 12? I guess if I... If I thermo for one, we could make Heimer 12 out of 12. You're between me and glory. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight cards in hand right now. That's not worth it. Or is it? No, it's not worth it. At least there's no puff caps. No, thank you. You're at three. You're also at three. So, of course, I'm, I'm doing that to... I know it doesn't make turrets now, but I'm doing that so it doesn't have the vulnerable. One of them to try to finish off set 20. <laughs> Shrieking spinner. Got to buff those spiders. Get excited aren't bad. They do a good job of getting cards out of my hand. I could just attack now, but it kind of seems like we don't need to just attack now. I'm definitely never casting that progress day. So, getting some more turrets before we attack. in their hands just passed. <laughs> yeah, opponent already gave us free progress day. Bow to no one. Mm. No one at all? Why can't I play Cosmic Inspiration? Cosmic Inspiration is like the best possible card we could have.
I guess I should have done this first because then I would have had the five mana turret attacking also. I don't know what kind of Nexus healing they'll have if I just cast Get Excited. I don't know. But I also just thought that I didn't have to cast Get Excited right there. Whenever, you know, like, just don't have to. Okay, so you're saying there's no no possible healing cards they can have? Alright, then I guess maybe I should cast this. Or not. I want we're playing Heimer. We're gonna win with turrets. Turret's cool. Killing people to get excited is lame. What are we are we playing like discard burn? No, we ain't doing that. We're playing turrets. We gotta get our tech. No. See if they have enough frostbite cards to stop us from killing them. Deal seven to a unit, so I can choose my own units. I've done some crazier things. Sweet, seven four overwhelm. Just make it more difficult for them to stay alive. All right, turrets first. You next, you're cool. Hi, you can sit back. We don't you know, we don't want you dying to uh, jury rig pump spell judgment. Alright, brittle steel. Love it. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Dude, maybe we need to build that deck, the Jerry Rig uh, Battle Fury deck. Or not Battle Fury, but yeah, Jerry Rig Battle Fury Judgment deck. Or just like something. Let's see, we have to be able to play Jerry Rig and then Judgment. And so some kind of pump spell. Like Fury of the North? Some kind of pump spell that like you can also play mana wise. Uh oh. Okay, this is going to be a lot more difficult. Draven. Oh, Draven Jinx. Okay, not Draven Ezreal. Draven Jinx. All right, still difficult. Um, Aphelios is good for the late game. So I love this two drop. But then what are we doing after that? I guess I mulligan these. Keep Aphelios? No, actually, we probably mulligan Aphelios, honestly. No Cascade maybe should be a keep. Okay, I like this. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where the top 700 is for um, for the Master's Rank. We, so we just got to Master's Rank, two and so I had zero LP and checked, and it was like 800-something. So it wasn't that far off. So I've, I've played th this Blue Sentinel over Ballistic Box. I want to block with Blue Sentinel. And so there's going to be open attacks. Um, it's kind of a better thing to block with. If I go Dust and then Priestess, that Priestess costs two mana, so that does not count for Improbulator, so that, that kind of bad. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Yeah, there's not nearly as many people in Master's Rank this season as there was in the previous seasons. 
Just looking, there's only like 950 total people. I think that's worth killing flame chompers. Flame chompers is very good. Sister gives me like that elusive that could block these 1 1 elusives, and of course, it gives me the lifesteal unit, so I guess that's where we're going. But like the lifesteal unit's fairly easy to kill. So, besides these uh, spinning axes, only three cards. I can't even fathom why this urchin is not, why it's not, um, attacking. Time for the money makers. If they would have, like, put the spinning axes on the Draven to try to level it up, I would have been able to Mystic Shot my own unit. Alright, so now Tribeam's dealing. Now it's dealing three. Which. Which I need to be worried about Jinx. I am very worried about Jinx. When others threaten, we must take action. A lot of mana over there they're not using. Slower game helps me. Hey Momo, I am doing very good. Hope you're doing well. Also. Okay, so they discarded a Draven. So they're down so yeah, they're down a Draven. You were misguided. They're down two Dravens now. Start House Spider. gonna get rid of the elusive I know that that means that this thing's taking an additional point of damage this golden sister all right so this either has to be jinx or augmented experimenter in hand and then we're gonna kill jinx And we should be doing pretty good now. See if they draw another Jinx. We have another Jinx killer. And there we go. It, they kind of needed Augmented Experimenter right there. 4 0. Oh. Alright, we got Aurelia Azir. People think that Hymer and Aphelios are two of the worst champions? No way. They get so much free value. Nah, these, both these champions are good. This hand, however. Very poor. Very poor hand. Okay. Started to get a little bit. Get out of here, droplet. Shapestone. Always devastating. <laughs> 
That card, though. Always devastating. Witness perfection, meat bags. Witness perfection, meat bags. Bags of perfection, meat. It's like that impossible meat. They make impossible burgers, but they perfected it. Dang, what a hand. A leader must see victory beyond each loss. Because I, I think that my best play right now is to save the spell mana for Heimer next round. Obviously, I was really hoping to draw a removal spell for these things. Man, this is so ridiculous. Um, yeah, that's what I was hoping. I guess next round it's Heimer, Flash of Brilliance, and then hopefully that removal spell. I may have to just Sunburst. They just not attack? Love it. I still just get another three mana unit. Don't love it. Imminently logical. My name echoes through every rock, every canyon. Sure it does. You got another sunburst? That's cool. Yes, yes, Gonna throw a wrench bot into their plans. Can you improve perfection? Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're winning this game. This was a wonderful hand for them. One drop into that landmark into champion champion. And that, that shape stone was huge, right? Because the shape stone took up my because of that shape stone, then I had then I don't have the Mystic Shot for the Aurelia. Which I guess I could have just left let the uh, dancing droplet survive. That's something I could have done. We will resist. Annie Desu, what's up? Wonderful hand. All right, so it came to an end. Our Aphelios Heimer deck, we did end up losing to a busted Aurelia Azir hand. That deck can do that. It can the best Aurelia Azir hands. Let's you know what? Not like that's one of the best things about that deck. Besides everything else that it does, but its best hands beats every other deck. And they had one, so GG's. By round three, they had played Dancing Droplet and Shapestone and the Emperor's Dice and I guess, yeah, I guess the first card round four, but then, and then both their three mana champions. Those whales. All right, so uh, we still great success here with the Heimer. Kind of showed off some, some champions that some people, I guess, According to chat, are a little down on, but I think that both these champions are still very strong. I really liked our list. I thought the tri beams were very good. I think the different rummage effects that we had worked out really well. I liked having like Blue Sentinel in here to block and, and get us some extra mana. Blue Sentinel definitely looked very good. Um, everything about our deck went really well. So we'll take that 4 1. Uh, you know, got to Master's rank with Ophelios-Heimer. Uh, can't ask for any more than that. So, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, Hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this list for um, these two champions. If, if you're uh, looking for a Heimer list, definitely recommend giving this one a try. I got two more uh, that we'll also try out in ranked, but I think this one's probably going to be the strongest of our three decks, um, to be honest. But um, Aphelios looked awesome, right? Like We got lots and lots of moon weapons uh, in those games, and Aphelios really did a lot for us. Anyway, that's going to be it here for Aphelios Heimer. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.